Germany and Ukraine are edging toward a significant defense partnership built around the revival and production of one of NATO's most enduring air defense systems, the Jeopard self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. Once considered a Cold War relic, this platform has taken on a second life in Ukraine, where it has emerged as one of the most reliable weapons against waves of Russian drones and cruise missiles. The system's success in Ukrainian service has not only restored its reputation but also prompted both Kiev and Berlin to explore a long-term arrangement that includes joint production, local repair facilities, and secure ammunition supply chains. The cooperation is seen not only as a way to enhance Ukraine's battlefield capabilities but also as a foundation for developing domestic defense industry resilience that could serve the country well beyond the current conflict. The talks between Ukrainian Defense Minister Denis Shmihal and KNDS Deutschland executives, led by Ralph Ketzel, highlighted the urgency of creating a sustainable framework for keeping the Jeopard fleet in operation. These discussions, held in Kiev and later continued at the Defense and Security Equipment International Exhibition in London, underscored a shared recognition of the weapon's battlefield value. For Ukraine, the Jeopard has become an indispensable asset for shielding cities, energy infrastructure, and frontline units from Shahid-type loitering munitions and low-flying cruise missiles. For Germany, the cooperation represents both a way to assist an ally under attack and an opportunity to validate the continued relevance of a system first fielded more than half a century ago. One of the most immediate results of this collaboration has been the establishment of domestic repair and maintenance facilities inside Ukraine. Until recently, Jeopard vehicles had to be sent abroad for overhauls, creating logistical delays and dependence on foreign workshops. Under KNDS guidance, Ukrainian defense companies have now launched service hubs capable of repairing armored and anti-aircraft vehicles, beginning with the Jeopard. The first three units have already been refurbished on Ukrainian soil, signaling a new level of independence in sustaining the fleet. This move not only accelerates the turnaround time for returning damaged vehicles to the field but also lays the groundwork for broader industrial cooperation between Ukraine and Germany. The ammunition supply challenge has also been a central issue. Germany has pledged significant shipments, delivering more than 200,000 rounds of 35mm ammunition to Ukraine. Rainmetal has been tasked with ensuring long-term production after earlier shortages tied to Swiss export restrictions temporarily complicated supply lines. Technical issues with Norwegian-made NAMO rounds were also resolved, allowing them to enter Ukrainian service after modifications. These efforts have collectively built a more stable foundation for keeping the Jeopard armed and ready, even as demand for interceptors grows amid continued Russian strikes. Ukraine's Jeopard fleet itself is a patchwork of international contributions. By the end of 2023, Germany had delivered 52 vehicles and committed to sending an additional 15, along with hundreds of thousands of rounds of ammunition. In early 2024, the United States purchased 60 Dutch origin cheetahs from Jordan for more than $118 million, with deliveries beginning later that year. Germany also arranged transfers of 15 vehicles from Qatar, further expanding Ukraine's arsenal. This multi-sourced acquisition strategy has provided Kiev with a larger-than-expected number of Jeopards, reinforcing its short-range air defense network at a critical time. Each transfer has been paired with support infrastructure such as repair hubs and ammunition supply agreements to ensure operational readiness. Operationally, the Jeopard has exceeded expectations. Ukrainian crews report intercepting large numbers of drones in single engagements, including a notable incident where 10 Shahid drones were destroyed during one attack. The system has also proven capable of intercepting Russia's KH-101 cruise missiles, weapons typically aimed at power plants and other energy facilities. That a vehicle conceived in the 1960s could neutralize modern, High-speed threats underscores both the enduring utility of gun-based air defense and the adaptability of the Jeopard design.
Ukrainian officers consistently stress its cost-effectiveness compared to missile interceptors. A single burst of 35mm fire is dramatically cheaper than expending a surface-to-air missile, making the system ideal for sustained defense against drone swarms, while more advanced interceptors are reserved for higher priority targets. The technical features of the Jeopard remain central to its success. Built on the chassis of the Leopard 1 main battle tank, the vehicle combines armor protection, mobility, and autonomous fire control. Its twin 35mm Erlikon autocannons can fire a combined 1,100 rounds per minute, engaging targets up to 4 kilometers away and at altitudes of around 3 kilometers. Specialized ammunition, such as frangible armor-piercing discarding sabo rounds, extend its effective range to 5 kilometers in certain conditions. Dual belt feeds allow operators to switch between ammunition types depending on the target, giving them flexibility in rapidly shifting battlefield scenarios. To maximize effectiveness, operators fire in short, controlled bursts to prevent overheating and conserve ammunition, enabling the system to remain viable during extended defensive operations. Radar integration enhances the Jeopard's combat power. German variants employ an S-band search radar with a 15-kilometer detection range, paired with a Ku-band tracking radar for precise target engagement. Dutch Origin Cheetah versions differ slightly, using X-band and Ka-band radars, but deliver comparable performance. This dual radar setup enables the Jeopard to detect and track multiple small, fast-moving targets simultaneously, including drones with very low radar cross-sections. Ukrainian combat reports confirm the system's ability to operate effectively against dense drone formations and high-speed cruise missile approaches, even in contested electronic environments. The fact that the Jeopard integrates detection, tracking, and firepower on a single platform allows it to operate independently, an invaluable advantage when external fire control networks are degraded by jamming. Mobility has also been a decisive factor. Powered by an 830 horsepower MTU engine, the Jeopard can reach speeds of 65 km per hour on roads and maintain strong cross country performance. Ukrainian crews have been able to reposition units quickly to defend threatened sites, whether power plants, administrative centers, or frontline positions. An auxiliary engine powers radar and fire control systems independently, allowing the vehicle to remain on station for long periods without running its main engine, reducing both acoustic and thermal signatures. This feature has proven particularly valuable for concealed deployments, where minimizing exposure to enemy reconnaissance is essential. Looking ahead, the partnership between KNDS and Ukraine is expected to focus on modernization. Feedback from Ukrainian operators is being funneled back to German engineers to guide upgrades that could extend the Jeopard's lifespan. Proposed improvements include enhanced radar systems, updated tracking technologies, and refinements to ammunition handling. These upgrades would help the platform keep pace with evolving aerial threats, particularly as Russia continues to expand its use of loitering munitions and advanced cruise missiles. By incorporating combat-proven insights into future designs, KNDS can ensure that the Jeopard remains a relevant and reliable solution, even as the nature of aerial warfare shifts. At a broader level, the joint work on Jeopard production and sustainment speaks to Ukraine's long-term defense ambitions. By building local repair hubs, ensuring stable ammunition supplies, and developing technical partnerships with European industry, Ukraine is laying the foundations of a more self-sufficient defense sector. This shift not only helps keep weapons operational under the pressures of war but also creates lasting industrial capacity that could serve the country well after hostilities cease. For Germany, the collaboration demonstrates a commitment to supporting Ukraine while also showcasing the adaptability of its defense industry in reactivating and modernizing legacy systems for current needs. The story of the Jeopard in Ukraine is therefore more than just a tale of a single weapon system. 
It is an illustration of how legacy platforms can regain relevance in new conflicts, how international cooperation can overcome logistical bottlenecks, and how wartime necessity can drive innovation. From intercepting drones over Kiev to shielding power plants in the country's heartland, the Jeopard has become a symbol of resilience. The decision to pursue joint production represents not just an answer to today's battlefield demands but also a step toward shaping Ukraine's long-term security posture. What began as an emergency transfer of stored vehicles has evolved into a comprehensive defense partnership, one that could ensure a 60-year-old machine continues to play a decisive role in modern warfare.